Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode one of a new video series I'm calling Questions and Answers. I get dozens of questions through email every day, and I thought it would be a good idea to create this video series where once a week I'll answer four or five of the more common questions I get or questions that have answers that I think might benefit everyone. So. In this, the first episode, I'll be answering five different questions. Now, before I do that, all of my videos are free, and they're free because of many kind people support what I'm trying to do. And there's many different ways to support my free videos, and some don't even cost you any money. If you could do me a favor and look up in the right-hand corner of your screen, they'll see there, you'll see there's an I. Just click on that I and you'll get more information about how you could help me make the best free videos on the planet. Okay, the first question. When I import images, I sort them into catalogs. And in doing so, I inadvertently kept creating virtual copies. Now I have a bunch of virtual copies in my Lightroom catalog. Is there an easy way to find and delete all of the virtual copies or do I have to go through each folder picture by picture? And Steve F. sent me that question. Okay, what Steve is talking to, let's jump over to the library module just for a minute. And you can see we have our collections. When you create a new collection, you have the option to make virtual copies. And it appears that Steve was always creating virtual copies when he was sorting his images into different collections. Now he has a bunch of these virtual copies along with the actual image itself. So he needs a way to easily find all these virtual copies and delete them. And it is very easy to do. You go to the library module and go up here where it says catalog and click on all photographs. And when you click on all photographs, you'll see that this will populate with all your images. Now what you want to do is you want to go to attribute right here. And over here on the far right, you'll see that it says kind, and then it has looks like kind of a film uh, icon. Then it has this rectangle with the corner folded up in the, or this rectangle with a folded up corner. That's what you want to click on, because that is virtual copies. And when you click on that, you will filter your Lightroom catalog. So all that it will display now are virtual copies. And you could see that each one of these has the corner folded up, which is Lightroom's way of indicating it's a virtual copy. Now, to delete these, you could just delete them one by one. Maybe you don't want to delete them all. You just want to delete certain ones. So you could just you know, click on one and hit delete. And it's going to ask you, and I'm not going to delete mine, but you could remove it. Or you could click on the first one hold the shift key down and click on the last one and you'll select all of them. Then hit the delete key and then it's going to ask you if you're going to want to delete all of them. And of course, I do not want to. So that is an easy, quick way to go through and delete all your virtual copies or just find your virtual copies and delete the ones you want to delete. That was question one from Steve. Okay, question two. Some of my Lightroom brushes are missing. Is there a way to reset the brushes and get the default brushes back? Cliff H. Yes, just open up the brush tool and right to the right of effect, you'll see custom. There's a little drop down there. Click on that and at the very bottom, it says restore default brushes. Just click on that and you'll restore your brushes and they should all come back. Every now and then for some reason, Lightroom will delete some of these brushes, soften skin, uh, dodge, whatever, they might be missing and you could restore them if they do come up missing for whatever reason. And that is how you do that. Now, the next question is from Brian. Help, my basic tab is missing. This is the most common question I get in Lightroom by far. Not just the basic tab, it could be any tab. And it's not only the tabs on the right-hand panel of the Develop module, it could be tabs on the left-hand panel of the Develop module or the Library module or any module. And all you need to do is right-click on any of the tabs that are still there. 
and you'll see this little menu pops up. And you can see how each of the tabs is indicated here, basic tone curve, and they all have check marks to the left of them. If I click on basic tab now, you can see it's disappeared. So what probably happened is Brian inadvertently uncheck that without realizing what happens. So now you see my basic tab is gone. So just right click and you can see that check mark is gone. Just click it again and it's there. So if you're missing any tab on any panel anywhere in Lightroom, just right try right clicking on any of the remaining tabs and find that check box that's missing and add it. You should be good to go. All right, next question is from Kathy B. My basic tab looks different than yours. Mine has recovery and fill light in it. Why? Okay, if you look at my basic tab, you can see I have highlight shadows, whites, blacks. And this is the main part that Kathy is referring to right here. If you go down here in the camera calibration tab, you can see it says process and it says 2012 current. Lightroom has process that what they call at least Adobe calls a process engine that it uses that, that's all the algorithms and computer stuff that it uses to process your images and over the years Lightroom has revamped this process engine and they include the older processes here you can see there's 2003 and 2010 and the current one of course is 2012 if you accidentally change this to 2010 what you'll see is your basic panel will no longer have highlights, shadows, and whites. It'll have recovery and fill light in there, and it will be missing a tab. So you can see that it's different. And it has, as you can see, it says exposure, recovery, fill light, blacks. So if that happened to you, just go down to camera calibration, go to process, and make sure you're using the current process engine. It's currently 2012. And then you'll look and you could have your highlight shadows, whites and blacks are back. So that happens quite often. All right, last question. How do you have that lens info on the top left of your screen? Luis B. Okay, Luis, as you can see, there's an image here. And all you got to do is hit the I key on your keyboard. And you could see that once you hit the I key, it's making a layer out of me. There it is. You hit the I key, you'll come up with some info. In this case, it's showing the uh, file name, the date it was taking, and the time along with the file size. If I hit I again, then it comes up with some camera uh, exposure info and the lens info. And you just keep hitting I and you'll cycle through off, file size and date, and then the exposure info and lens info and it's like that in the develop module and in the library module too is you just keep hitting the i key on your keyboard just like that so that's it that's it for episode one of questions and answers and like i mentioned i get dozens of questions in every single day and it's really impossible to stay up on top of them all the time and many times i get the same question over and over again so I decided to make this series and I'm going to catalog this series, meaning as we go on and I start getting, you know, episode 57, 58, I will have a catalog so people could look through and see what might be happening and see if I answered it in a specific episode. So look for that in the future. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.